Hi, good day mga friendship. Uh, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to we're gonna going to cook a uh, carbonara using with the spiral pasta. So to start it with my mommy will help me to prepare the carbonara. Okay. Now that the water is already boiled, we are going to put now the pasta. Really with noise. So now our pasta is in the boiling water, so let's wait until it will be soft for 5 to 10 minutes. Okay. So while we are waiting until the pasta will be so soft, we're going to prepare again our sauce. The ingredients of our carbonara sauce are mushroom and ground pork. The mushroom is a good source of, uh, it is an antioxidant called selenium and our pork is good source of protein, vitamin B6, phosphorus, and zinc. And these are the spices that we're gonna use. Again, and the sauce carbonara style we have here del monte carbonara style spaghetti sauce and anisle cream so th these are the ingredients that we're gonna use for our carbonara sauce now we have done preparing the garlic and the onions these both are used in cooking to enhance its taste of the food and at the same time it combats sickness and reduce blood pressure and it helps to improve the cholesterol level in our body. Now let's prepare the carbonara sauce and let's start it with the onion, the spices I mean, first the garlic and then the onion to fry in the cooking oil. After the garlic will turn into brown, we are going to put the ground pork. Now let's season the ground pork with half half tablespoon of seasoning and a table salt a table spoon of salt. tablespoon of salt and black pepper then liquid seasoning liquid seasoning then I'm going to add a mushroom which is an antioxidant. Now let's pour the cream into the cooked ground pork and mushroom. Have to put all the sauce. The cream sauce. We have to mix it with the mushroom and ground pork to make it creamier and tasty. So we finish. I oh, still have one cream.
this the carbonara style spaghetti sauce to make it more tastier carbonara so after mixing all the sauce let's mix it and stir until it will become saucy at this point we have the bacon as our toppings which we're gonna use it later after the fry and a low heat low heat pressure so it will not pop now that the bacon has been cooked, so let's cut it into small pieces because we're gonna use this as a toppings after the past, I mean carbonara sauce will be cooked. So this, how, this is how you will cut it into pieces because it's still hot so I'm using the tongue. Now that the pasta has been soft, now we're going to drain the water. Al dente. What? Al dente. Is it al dente? Ah. What language is that? Italian. Okay, so because we're cooking carbonara in Italian food, so she's speaking in it, uh, an Italian language. So let's start it now, drain, draining the pasta. Where are you gonna place it? In there. So this is how you're gonna drain the pasta. And you prepare a container after draining the pasta. The carbonara sauce has been prepared. So let's put it into the pasta. Put it slowly by slowly so you can have even it will be evenly mixed with the pasta. Now our carbonara pasta is ready and the bacon toppings is already spread evenly. So we have now a carbonara tasty mm -hmm. carbonara pasta. So this Pasta is prepared because it's sustained energy and it's low sodium and it's a cholesterol free. So if you are checking your cholesterol level, this is, pasta is good for you. So let's enjoy eating. Hi guys, Mommy Lou is with me to taste our prepared carbonara pasta. Okay, let's start to taste it. I'll give you a piece of pasta carbonara Mommy Lou. So let's start to taste it. So I'm in a diet, so I'll just put a few in my plate. How is this, Mommy Lou? Great. Okay, guys, so we're enjoying our carbonara pasta. And thank you for watching my video. So like, subscribe, and make a comment. And click the notification button to, to update all my videos. To see more of my videos, thank you.